がちょっと通りますうん豆をいぶっちゃうみたいあ、ですか、俺のセスプリング
People of Saipan and the Dodo Barrales. I want to thank you for your invitation to be with you this afternoon to celebrate this uh, joyous a joyful occasion in welcoming our brothers and sisters to Talambok Saipan this afternoon. I say that it is a joyful and a joyful occasion because we relive again the history of our islands when our great navigators and leaders of our islands across the Pacific Ocean have traveled the distant and treacherous waters of the Pacific since the way approximately the 13th or 14th century. And as I stand here for you this afternoon, I join Governor Pedro P. Tenorio in welcoming our brothers and sisters today, in welcoming the true great navigational masters of our Pacific area. With that, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all of you, especially to our 18 local men and a woman, and together with their brothers from the Chuk of for your amazing and courageous heart to travel the distant waters of the Pacific Ocean by means of the stars, the traditional navigational aids. Today it is an honor and a privilege to join our people here today in Talago to witness this Atari and to welcome all of you. Thank God for your safety. Welcome to Talabok Saipan. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I would like now to you know, allow me to join our traditional Carolinian leaders and the Carolinian Affairs Office to share a brief remarks and truly appreciate this journey that you have made to the island of Saipan. We here can only imagine the courage and the bravery you all had when you decided to join this historic 500 mile millennium 2000 traditional canoe voyage. Many of us perhaps may not have the honor and the privilege of doing such a feat in our lifetime. Imagine sailing freely on an open, open sea, as expansive as the Pacific Ocean, the largest body of ocean water on this earth. Imagine the inner strength and positive mental attitude each of you must have had throughout this voyage. Imagine the endless possibilities of conquering your fears, those ones who you have expected as well as unexpected. Of all the unknown, without the assistance of modern day technology and equipment. I now would like to personally thank Dr. Mao Pialu and Grandmaster Manipi. Thank you for your passion to revive perhaps our oldest and most ancient part of our island culture of traditional navigation. I am confident, as you all are, that this voyage is historic in another sense, reviving and promoting what may be almost lost culture, the art of our people. However, your challenge was to participate and recommend all of you. 
Our challenge, however, is to continue to work together to bring this incredible knowledge and skill to our children and our children's generation. Who would have thought 18 men of our local and one woman from the island of Saipan would have participated in this very historic traditional canoe journey? You have done it. And we are proud and thankful to you. On behalf of Governor Pedro Pitonorio and the people of the Northern Marianas, and especially our people in Talabo, we welcome you. You deserve all our respect and admiration for a truly amazing feat on your part. Again, welcome and may your day be a joyful one as well. Have a good day. Thank you. President of the Senate, I would like to, uh, and our colleagues, I would like to read the resolution. The Senate 12 Northern Marianas Commonwealth Legislature, a Senate resolution congratulating and welcoming the crew of the Millennium 2000 Traditional Canoe Voyage upon the successful uh, completion of their historic voyage. Whereas the Millennium 2000 traditional canoe voyage is a 500 plus mile journey from Satawal and Polowat on five traditional canoes to the village of Tanapak on the island of Saipan. And whereas 46 crew members and aboard five traditional canoes courageously retrace the centuries all sailing routes of previous Carolinian navigators who braved the perils of the Pacific Ocean to first open trading routes with Guam and the Northern Marianas, and whereas using traditional navigation methods mastered by their forefathers, the crew members of the five canoes successfully complete their journey over open ocean utilizing their knowledge of the current marine life, waves, clouds, winds, celestial navigation, and whereas Master Navigator Mao Pialuk ordained his voyage to land in Tanapak as a token of the community's affiliation to their ancestral land and upon the request to invigorate the community's efforts on cultural revitalization, and whereas for the first time in modern history a traditional expedition of this size will grace our homeland and for the first time land at the Tanapak beachfront and whereas navigator Tio Onope from Palawat led two canoes from Palawat to rendezvous, rendezvous with the Satovo group in Piccolot. And whereas Isero Suralu, son of the master navigator Mao Pialuk, successfully navigated his first open sea voyage from Satovo to Saipan. Now therefore, be resolved by the Senate 12 Northern Marianas Commonwealth Legislature that the Senate congratulates and welcomes the crew of the Millennium 2000 Traditional Canoe Voyage upon the successful completion of this historical voyage and be it further resolved that the President of the Senate shall certify and the Senate Legislative Secretary shall attest to the adoption of this resolution and thereafter transmit copies to the navigators and crew of the Millennium 2000 the Traditional Canoe Voyage, Mr. Frank M. Rabalaman, Executive Assistant for Carolingian Affairs, and the Honorable Pedro P. Tenorio, Governor of the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, presented on this 14th day of April 2000. Thank you very much. Lagwinai zaku, poti 
please for the club of women dancers. emotion that is uh, very ecstatic and as well as uh, uh, electrifying emotion. Uh, I have not uh, been on any occasion where this emotion uh, has existed. It's the first time in my life and uh, I know uh, that my people and others from nearby this village has contributed a lot uh, in, in this endeavor for us to felt that impact of emotion. And I came from Sarawal. I travel with Piers, Dr. Piers Mao Piailuk Falulap of the Central Carolines on the Yap uh, area. And I felt I have learned tremendous um, area on the canoe. I'm an avid uh, fisherman here on Saipan and so I'm, I'm accustomed to rough weather and uh, hot sun. Uh, that didn't deter me. Uh, I felt uh, I needed to know what my ancestors have gone through and I think I have that feeling. It's a feeling of, it's a, actually a spiritual feeling and it, it enlightens my well-being. And I thought I should share this with my people here in Tanapak and others who have contributed uh, toward this success and to my children. The, we... the travel itself is about 473 miles from Sarawal to Saipan. We have experienced some difficulties on um, two of our canoes. The Naaman uh, uh, crack hall uh, started out at three feet by the time we get to Rhoda uh, it uh, it showed five uh, five foot crack uh, the 
Simeon Hokolea uh, cracked a, a boom and uh, those needed uh, to be repaired on Rhoda and that's um, the prime reason why we had to uh, call on Rhoda to make those necessary repair. How did it feel after all the years of hearing stories about Sadawal to be finally sitting in the man's house on the beach there with, with Papa Mao? That's a, a feeling that um, can only be experienced when you go to Sadawal and when you sit down with uh, Mao. Uh, Mao has tremendous knowledge, not only on the ancient navigation, but we have to work extra hard to bring six canoes again in the next 20, maybe 30 years. Uh, what's it been like uh, the last few days being here in, in the village, uh, in the men's house with all of the voyagers? Has it been... uh, that's a whole new experience again. The, our men's house uh, is just constructed and it's for the first time again that this men's house is constructed in many, many years. And, and the feeling has kind of brought back the, the people together. Uh, in the past, we, we've experienced uh, our closeness uh, and, and it's called family extended uh, system uh, and has began to deteriorate it. Uh, at the moment we arrive on the shores of Tanapak, that has changed. A lot of our people has begun to congregate, to come and share, uh, just like 25, 30 years ago share their food, uh, share their thoughts, uh, share their happiness with us. I, I thought that we have brought them uh, a revival of our culture through this millennium, the year 2000. Also, would like to call upon Urbano. Urbano, if you're out there, can you please come up here? Uh, Mario, if you're not too busy, can you also please come up here? Again, after Chief Man P tell us a little bit briefly on uh, the importance of Atari, uh, all the crew members uh, and the navigators will be there during the Atari ceremony. And then when that ceremony is done, they're all going to sit over there and eat. Uh, it's, uh, the food is only for the, for the crew member. While the Malalaid <laughs> Arroydon. <laughs> Before Chief Manapi explain about the importance of Atari, you would like to first uh, and foremost give the people 
of Tanapak, a very a very warm thank you for bringing about and keeping our traditional uh, alive here in Tanapak. He would like to express that deeply from him. The food that we see in front of him, this is the center part of uh, the food that it belongs to the God, God, God of uh, uh, Anil Marsi, which is the, the gods of uh, voyaging. Uh, we call that Anil Marsi. And we're, this is to ask Anil Marsi to uh, to put the end of the voids, at least for now. Because at this time we cannot, uh, we cannot go and visit our families and friends until this ceremony is done. So it is very important. It's now calling upon the navigators from other canoes to yeah, come yeah, forward and help him. Uh, Uh, so now he's calling Sandy to come and get some of this food to put it on the uh, outrigger. We call it Tam of uh, of the canoe, each canoe. Yeah. Now Sandy is going to get all this food and again put it on the outrigger of the canoe, uh, giving thanks to the uh, to the goddess of voyages. We call it Alin Marsi uh, for that talking. <laughs> Are you uh, Theo? No. Marissa? Cesario? If you are a part of the right, you are a part of the right. Are you going to be a part of the right? Are you going to be a part of Before I call on them, let me just briefly uh, add it to what Manipi had already said. Uh, Ma was uh, saying he gave uh, first and foremost his appreciation and a very warm danklo nasujusmasi olumayang aligami to the people of Saipan and most especially to the people in the village by keeping our tradition alive by inviting this voyage over to, to Tanapak village, first time ever. The Anil Marsi or the gods of the voyaging that Manapi and Ma mentioned, Ma said that he's sitting or standing rather uh, at the outrig of the canoe. And if we don't do the central food, uh, the central food for the atari, uh, you know, maybe some of us will probably get sick if we don't do that and we wouldn't be able to visit our family. And that Anil Marasi is always out in the open ocean all the time. And they, every now and then they call on them to help them. He also encouraging the youth to take interest in our tradition by continuing to participate in, in these uh, voyages. So with that, uh, I thank you from Ma and of course from Manabi. How about a big round I'd of like applause for both? Cesaro, one of the captain of the canoe, says. These are the young, uh, young generation of Carolinian that are coming forward. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to have him translate that in English and tomorrow. <laughs> he just wanted to, to extend the, the same uh, speeches and words that it's been expressed by uh, Manapi and Mao and is giving a big thanks to all of us, most especially of course uh, our people in Tanapak for hosting uh, this voyage. So, Sir uh, Cesare, you don't want to say it in, in tomorrow? How about a big round of applause for Cesare?
What surprised you about that? What was different about it than perhaps you thought it would be? Given that it's basically a culture that's pretty much intact for the last 1,200 years, which is taking out of modern life what is convenient and useful and still maintaining the traditional ways. Yeah. Um, it wasn't so much a, a surprise as it was more a uh, feeling melancholy and feeling sad for the people of Saipan, especially um, the Rafalawash people of Saipan and especially the Rafalawash people of Tanakh by Um As we all know, um, especially in the Tanakh area, um, we've lost or practically lost our language. Um, the Tanakh dialect or Carolinian dialect um, of Tanakh. Um, it was wonderful to be walking around the island of Satwal and hearing Carolinian language, you know, um, from little people all the way up to big old people. And it's like, wow, Carolinian is in the house. <laughs> Carolinian was, is spoken was... here. <laughs> and one of the more powerful experiences that 
um, I share with some of the crew members on the Hokulea was, and this takes going back to Satwa. Uh, when we were on the island, again as a young man growing up here on Saipan, I've after I've um, after I've appreciated and after I've admitted to myself, yes, I'm Carolinian, and there's no way in hell that I can be Chamorro or anything else otherwise. <laughs> um, um, I, I wanted to, I, I went to the point of wanting to um, take away my westernized name and have a Carolinian name. And I've been asking and wanting for a Carolinian name. Um, I got it at this voyage and Papa Mao gave it to me. <laughs> I'm so honored. <laughs> Um, my Carolinian name is Yoniwa, which means um, a whale or group of whales. It's a navigational um, uh, location, a locator, or, or something like that. Um, while we were out outside of Guam on the way here, we saw three whales. I felt the whales came to say hi to me. <laughs> Now this is people are gonna be are gonna hear this and they're man this guy's freaking out <laughs> and this guy this guy's wacko but I I really did feel that those whales came to to say hi to me um, and in my excitement and in my ignorance being so young in in this whole adventure and in this in this learning experience. Um, Many of the Saipan crew, the Saipan men on the Hokulea, stood up and were so excited. I was one of those people. I was so excited. Whale! Whales! Whales! <laughs> whales! You know? And little did I appreciate um, how dangerous it was. You know? Yes, they were coming to say hello to me, but they, they, they are also dangerous. They, they pose a threat to the well being of the whole canoe the crew members in that they can easily just flip their tails and poop off we go off the canoe <laughs> <Scrape the barnacles. laughs> yes <laughs> Look, you out of the water. yes and there were three there were three of these whales they're um, they're pilot whales and they swam under the canoe actually swam under the canoe came out to the outrigger part of the canoe actually swam under it for about probably 45 seconds to 60 seconds were under there and going with us. Um, and then they swam really fast forward, and made a U-turn, came back, and, and did that for about two or three times. I was standing there and in my mind, I was just going, wow, what, could this be true? <laughs> could this be true? <laughs> could they really be, or am I freaking out here? <laughs> I know I was not. Um, other men in, in the on the crew on the Hokulea saw the whales, and I I, I feel so honored. Uh, I really do feel that the, the whales came to say hello to me. I shared this experience with Papa Mao on the island of Rota uh, when we went in, and he smiled at me and looked at me and he said, "Why didn't you go with them? They, they could have taken you to Saipan. Maybe I can do that on another voyage." I didn't, this particular voice, I, I don't have that courage yet. <laughs> maybe <laughs> next time I will. <laughs> could, you, could you maybe tell me something about what was going through your mind emotionally as, as all the canoes pulled into the beach that day? <laughs> wow. Um, it, it's, it's overwhelming. Overwhelming. <laughs> I mean, just the joy and the energy that could, you could just feel. The, what it reminded me very much of was many years ago when, although on a much smaller scale, when uh, Hokulea first came back to Hawaii right. or after sailing, making the first trip to Tahiti, that emotion that the people had that were standing on shore was just, and the pride, the pride in themselves. Yeah. Um, well, um, for me personally, 
It's like the circle has been completed. Okay. Uh, this is the bulma up. Tell me. 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 This side is rising. That side is sitting. Okay. Um, now we count the stars in the sky. Tell me up. Tell me if I'm. Tell you. Tell me if I'm. Tell me. Tell you. Tell you. Tell me if I'm. What will you choose, man? To put a man in the front, to put a woman, to put a good egg, to put a man. To put a marker, to put a rule, to put a pie fun, to put a man up. To put a pie, to put a deal, to put a report, to put them. To put a sorry, to put up a chimney toe, whatever it is. Machamias, Tanup, Tan Missari, Tai Tumur, Tai Sarapot, Tan and Deal, Tan Pie. This one is see. We count the stars around, right? Now we we make a room. A room means when we when we selling, we go to Burmaya. The front can we to Burmaya, and the back is then. Then we go to Burmaya. Burmaya is the front can the back is the Burmaya. A room, ten up, a room or two will matter. Tell the pay you fun, a room or two will pay your, tell all, a room or two will deal, tell Margaret, a room or two will serve. Tell the moon, a room or two will, two more, tell the good, a room or two will miss her, tell the one, a room or two will, tell the man per fun, a room or not similar. Whatever you look. I don't want to put a To put a man in perfum, I don't want to match a mass. To put a woman, I don't want to look. To put a good egg, I don't want to tell myself. To put a man, I don't want to tie to me. To put a burger, I don't want to tie a serpent. To put a wool, I don't want to tie a deal. To put a pay a fun, I don't want to tell a pay. Uh, chat, and sorry, we stay in a while drinking because I should make early tomorrow morning, then we go inside that chat. I don't like we call early, we're gonna stay outside. But I know where is the channel. But <laughs> <laughs> it's been tense first. Leave it. Then the Makali and Sieber. Maybe uh, two o'clock or four o'clock. <coughs> now it's the people that. People take over on the independence. Now it's ready. Just a book. Yeah, it's 
Don't do it. I do it. Without water. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at the water inside the pot. <laughs> <laughs> this water is good. Mm -hmm. uh, now it should be stopped. Talk to the test. Sorry? Now it's almost time to leave. Yeah. 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 Yeah.